Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace. Uh, glad to be with you again. And today I'm going to be talking about being perfect, or rather, I'm not perfect and that's okay. I went to see Sarah Swafford, and she's a national speaker, and she talks about this topic of emotional virtue. And you can Google her, Sarah Swafford. But something that she talked about actually I'm not perfect I was on the wrong I was on the wrong page something she talks about something she talked about in her talk was how photoshopped people are and how she showed this video of um, a billboard of this woman just just her head and her face in the billboard and they went back and they showed a picture of the of the woman without any makeup and then they did a real fast um, what's that thing called Bridget? What? Like when they speed it up? Time-lapse? Yeah, time-lapse. So they sped it up of her getting started the woman out with no makeup on then they had like the makeup artist go and put all the makeup on and then um, after that then they took her her picture and they pulled it into Photoshop and they did all this stuff with the Photoshop and then they took that picture of her and put it up on a billboard and what that uh, really impressed upon me was just how fake uh, our culture is and how unrealistic the expectations are for women but really for all people and so it made me think about this topic that I wanted to talk about before and it's called I'm not perfect and that's okay and what's funny about that is that I do tend to be a perfectionist both like in my writing and my visual arts and all that but if I were like super perfectionist about all my videos I would never put a single video out because a I rarely wear makeup B uh, I mess up all the time C um, I mess up all the time so and it's okay because I'm not perfect and neither are you and that's okay but I feel like our culture really kind of um, has these unrealistic expectations just in our just even in our media like when you see you know either men or women in various ads they just look so perfect or if you look at people's you know Instagram or their Facebook and you see their perfect family or their perfect life you just look and think well I'm not like that you know um, anyway so that made me want to talk about this topic and so the first thing you need to realize is that a lot of what we see on you know Instagram on TV on ads they are they are Photoshop they're not real you know and so for us to try to aspire to these really really ridiculous um, expectations that are completely unrealistic that is just crazy so um, we're not perfect well there were two two perfect people one perfect person Jesus and then the other perfect person Mary I feel sorry for Joseph you know Saint Joseph <laughs> he had to deal he had to live with two perfect people so that couldn't have been that fun but I think we just need to realize that a lot in our culture is photoshopped and fake. Um, number two, that there are, because we see all these so-called perfect people and perfect ads and perfect um, uh, people's Instagram and all that and everything that you know is kind of portrayed in Hollywood, that that's just unrealistic and that we don't have to we can't really aspire to something that's not realistic and then the other thing this is really the big message that I want you to take away is that really what we do in life and um, is really for an audience of one and that's God really God made me the way that I am the way I talk the way I look the way I act and that's that's okay that's how God made me and I have certain gifts and talents that I can use I'm not gonna be like somebody else so I'm not gonna try to be like somebody else and that's okay and that audience of one I think as we 
um, grow in our relationship with God and as we try to serve God and to use our unique gifts and talents, does it really matter what anybody else thinks? I mean, obviously we want to do well in school and we want to do well for our employer and all that kind of stuff and follow the rules and, and aspire to those things that, you know, are certain goals for our, you know, employer or whatever. But really the person that we need to be concerned about is God. And God is really the one who loves us unconditionally um, and who made us. And so that if we can always be mindful of, of realizing that we are perfect in God's eyes because he made us. And then the other thing is that really he's the only person that we need to be concerned about in terms of what we do. And he is going to love us unconditionally. Um, and that's, that's a great thing to think about. So I'm not perfect and it's okay. So think about that as you try to do things, realize you don't have to be perfect. Other people aren't perfect, even though their Instagram or their family picture or the ads are perfect. You don't have to be perfect, um, but you are perfect in God's eyes the way he created you. So only have to please an audience of one, and that's God. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out. Um, a lot. So until next time, bye-bye.